Hello there folks, game four between Tfel and Hero Marine. Really interesting series so far. I'm actually very, very impressed with both players play, particularly in Tfel, who's up two one in the series, using a Roach Hydra style. And even though Hero Marine I think is building the right composition and doing the right moves, is just losing when the Zerg player seems to get up this kind of economy. And on the last game there in Game 3 that uh, TFL did win, I would venture to say that Hero Marine made some pretty important mistakes, even with a great Banshee opening that did a, did a pretty good amount of damage and managed to cancel the, or even kill the third base of the Zerg player. He just didn't have that answer for that big Roach Hydra Ball that just seems to cleave through that bio army of the Terran player, which is so surprising. Equal upgrades, medevacs overhead, tanks in the back, and the Roach Hydra just has enough damage and enough meat to just carve through that. And we're not even seeing TFL cut a lot of corners. He's been going for pool first every game, interest expansion. Hero Marine on the other side of things, though. He's lost both games. He has not gone for a 3cc opening, which seems strange. That's the more riskier of the openings. But none of these games has ended in the first 10 minutes. So maybe that's a sign that Hero Marine's got to focus a bit more on that macro swing of things and build himself up just a little bit better of an early composition. It looks like he will go for that CC first. This is a larger rush map, but we haven't seen a single deviation in the openings from TFL yet. It's always been pool into hatch. The only difference is, is when he takes that third hatch. And both games he's won, he's gone for a faster third hatchery. I was talking a little bit on that last game that I've never really been much of a uh, a fan of the Roach Hydra against the, the Terran army. And that's generally because when I've seen other pro players use it, they get up a really strong composition of Roaches and Hydras, and then they run into that tank and that bio line and they get clumped up and it just gets torn through and it's so expensive and tough and to be able to rebuild enough army to do damage. We've just seen that when Hero Marine has gone up against that with his bio and tanks, we've just had great splits out of TFL, really amazing concaves, and that's done a ton of damage, really minimized the effect of those tanks. We will come out for a fairly early scout here. And he's gonna see the exact same thing he's seen every game. The only difference is whether or not he's going to be able to see... Uh, yeah, no gas. So he's not going to get anything really funky out of this scout. And the queen is actually going to be in position to get a little bit of damage off. We've barely seen even any ling production out of our zerg player in this game. It just no speed, no banelings, nothing. Just straight into roaches and hydras. And quickly getting out that 1-1 one, one upgrade to be able to deal with the, uh, the Terran bio and tank. Orbital done nice and early. Already going to move her into position. Two Marines out, the standard, for him to be able to move into his reactor play. Back on this side, we're not going to see anything any funky out of TFL for a while. This is a much harder map to be able to get the wall off on. Oh wow. It's even a faster third base. I think it's the fastest third base we've seen out of TFL yet. And that might only be because in the last game there's a Reaper opening out of Hero Marine that really denied the ability for the, the drone to get into position. The reason why this map is really hard to wall off is you do need to drop creep tumors and let it expand. And you still need, you know, both the Evo Chambers and a Roach Warren to be able to take away the lane for the Hellions to come in. Still nothing but drones happening. We do have our first gas on the way here from the Zerg player. And that's going to let him get up his roaches here in the next little bit. Just to get out that first handful that I'm sure he's going to want to have. Just so he doesn't die to any early Hellion pressure. In the first game he lost 11 workers to a 4 Hellion run by. And that's very difficult to recover from in the very early game. You don't want to lose those Hellions as a Terran player. But to get 11 kills on workers. You know, no. We'll take that. We actually are going to see all the gases taken here right away. That's a pretty big commitment into that gas. Maybe we're going to see an earlier roach push once again on this side. Roach warrant isn't down. Evo Chim is down. See, there's the three structure wall off we see once again. 
the next two Hellions are going to be meeting up with it. And we're likely going to see this uh, factory. I was going to say, well, it's getting down a reactor, actually. That might just be to switch places with one of the barracks once the uh, stim pack is finished, one of those upgrades. Because I'm sure he's just going to predict that it's going to be Roach Hydra once again for his opponent. Tries to get by. Won't make it. Pretty good target firing on that one Hellion, though, but it does get away. Still nothing to defend against these Hellions except for the Roaches. Another nice little snipe. Take every opportunity you can. Even more gases. Lair on the way. Upgrades happening. He should be pushing for that faster Hydra, you know, once again as well. We're not going to be seeing any Banshee play yet out of our Terran player. I thought that was a nice move in the last game there. But when you have those Hydras out with Hydra range and you get yourself a couple Overseers, it's pretty tough to deal with it. The Lair tech was earlier this game for Tfel. He is getting down that Overseer just to be certain. But we can see the Terran player doesn't have any real big desires to move and, uh, and use any type of fast pressure here. Does have that third command center finished. Blah. Your Marines staying ahead on that there supply. But that one Hellion's pretty lucky there. It's just been keeping it alive. Is he going to get through? He does get through. Well, three of them get through. It's the three weakest Italians to get through. I guess pretty good hit. Pretty good hit. I was about to say, might as well scout with that last Italian, but... Yeah, it didn't have much health on it. Another 11 worker kills. That was actually pretty... Imp well, there's a couple of workers killed earlier on. It wasn't just from that. Once again, we're going to see a massive... Well, it looked like a very massive defensive opening. Understands the timing of his Zerg opponent. Hydralisk's always on the way. Roaches already started moving across. Tons of bunkers. It's just... This is the interesting part. Hero Marine knows what's coming. He knows the timing of when it's coming. He knows... Or at least he thinks he knows what he needs to defend. Now it's whether or not he actually can. This tank on the high ground here, it's a nice position, but it can't really give any support to these bunkers. Groove Spine's about to finish for Hydra Range. 2-2 two, two started up. 1-1's one, just finishing for the bio. Even more bunkers. Look at all these bunkers. I think the hero realizes that all he needs to do is last past this pressure that he knows is coming. And he will have a pretty good chance at this game here. Pretty good ball of junk happening here. Once again, we see that big supply bulge here from Tfel getting out that... This is just the early mid-game Roach Hydra ball. Tons and tons of bunkers, tanks in the back, missile turrets down. He's even lifted his... What the... I was about to say, why did he lift his command center? Even more... This... I just want to pause for a second. This is how you play the single-player campaign. <laughs> Seven bunkers, tanks, missile turrets... Eighth bunker on the way, medevax covering your base. Let us see if that's going to be enough to deal with the army here. I, I don't know what else you can do other than have eight widow mines in the front and point defense drones down. This is so strange. I've never seen a pro player go to this extent with bunkers. Even when you know your opponent is like four gating you, you generally don't even have that many bunkers down. Good creep spread. There's just... Hero Marine is just afraid to move out on the map. He's not out there doing any kind of harassment, any kind of damage. I'm surprised he doesn't have more tanks by this by now. He's got to get these tanks down into position. This is such a ridiculous thing. Trying to move out the concave here. Minimize that tank impact. This is really funny. Like Tfel could just look at that supply max though. 13 minutes. Roach Hydra push. It's still not gonna work. 
I've got to learn this build. This is like the Infinity build. How is there no way to beat this build? Sweet mother of Jesus. All right. This is just for me here. I got to I want to see this again. Just the amount of stuff that he had. The amount of bunkers, tanks, army. This is so sick. I'm sorry guys, this is just for me to check this out again. 2-2, two -two, finishes up. Great timing. And it doesn't even look that close. Hydra's in the back, Ruben Spines. 2-2 two -two on all the units. 2-2's two not finished with the Terran. This is a ridiculous playstyle. Anyways, that's... Well, that's the series. TFL takes a 3-1 to one with a really impressive playstyle. I like that a lot. Uh, maybe we'll see other pro players use it. Thanks very much for tuning in. Psycho StarCraft, and we'll see you guys later.